Hello, I'm Archibald Chesterfield III doing paid reviews for the Poor Pluto channel. And today I'm doing a review for Blaine. Archie, I'm getting married in a couple of weeks. My buddy Eric will be traveling to attend my wedding here in the middle, middle west of the United States. The wedding ceremony will occur outdoors at 3.30 in the afternoon uh, to be followed by a reception located in the hotel boardroom ballroom that is expected to last until midnight, at which time those interested will retire for a reserved indoor swimming pool. I suspect the temperature outside will range from between 25 and 35 degrees Celsius. But it's anyone's guess. Eric tells me he will wear a well-tailored dark blue linen sports coat with a light blue dress shirt, tan trousers and necktie. Now for the question. What one watch should Eric bring with him to wear? Given his collection currently consists of an Amiga Speedmaster Professional, Rolex Subdate and a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage Black Dial. All are currently outfitted with an OEM bracelet, but Eric is welcome to any suggestions you may have with regards to substituting a bracelet for a leather strap. Or if you do not find or if you do not find any of the foregoing satisfactory for such an occasion, perhaps you could think you think it prudent for him to invest in a squally. Your advice is much appreciated. Best of luck with the channel and keep up the good work. Blaine. P.S. I'm sending you a paper, a donation from Eric of 100, 100 US dollars via PayPal using this email address. Also, kindly do not use our last names or email addresses in the video. Obviously, your viewers are fuckers. Obviously, you wouldn't, but just thought and throw it in. Thanks again and have a safe trip in Bangkok. Wowzers. What a cool guy. Cool 100. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, let's have a talk here. Now, I gotta ask the question. Be careful who you marry. Be very careful. I mean, marriage itself is doomed. It's doomed for failure. Would you sign a contract where the odds are stacked against you? You got a 50-50 chance of failure? Would you sign that sort of contract? And if you get it wrong, you lose a lot of your assets, so be very careful. But I assume the girl is lovely and everything will be fine. Um, let's. So just be careful with the decision to marry because marriage is something not to be taken lightly. And um, you want to make sure you're doing it for the right reasons, i.e. she has money. Okay, let's have a look here. Now, as for the question... He's wearing a, a well-tailored dark blue linen. He fucking sounds really... That's got a great dress sense. Don't you love modern day age and these men have got really good fashion sense. I like it. A necktie as well. Wowzers. Which one watch should Eric bring with him to wear? He's got a Speedmaster Professional. The Man on the Moon. The Rolex Sub Date. And a Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. Now, let's have a look at this. I, I would really say, in all honesty, any of those choices is going to be great. However, however, the Omega Speedmaster Professional, it's not waterproof. If he goes in the pool, where's he going to store the watch when he's swimming? It could get stolen, yada, yada, yada. So you probably want to just rule that one out. The Rolex Subdate or the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. I love the Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. That is a cool line. But i got to be honest with you. Rolex Subdate. Now, the reason I say that is simple. If James Bond, if James Bond can wear a Rolex with a tuxedo, you can wear, you can wear a Rolex Submariner to a wedding. It's not a problem. It's not a problem. It's waterproof. It's a great watch, and the best thing about a Rolex is, you know, it's it, it's like when you take photographs and you're next to a a prestige car. Doesn't matter how long ago the photos were taken, it's classy. And I gotta tell you, nothing says class more like Rolex Submariner. I mean, it just reeks of class. 
you look at the photo, oh, he's wearing a sub. You know, it's like, oh, there's a Merc. Or, there, you know, oh, oh, there's a Rolls Royce or a Bentley. Just as classy. So I, I really think myself, nothing wrong with the Amiga, nothing wrong with the Breitling. But you want to be classy at a wedding? Wear a fucking Rolex. Wear a fucking Rolex. I mean, nothing says Playboy. Nothing says Mr. Sophistication. Nothing says I work hard. Nothing says I have style. Nothing says, yes, life is tough. I've gone up and down, but I've been frugal and careful with my money. Rolex Submariner. You got to do it. You got to do it. Rolex Submariner. Do it, man. Do it. I really think Rolex Submariner is so damn cool. I mean, let's be honest there. You go into a wedding. Hopefully this marriage lasts, okay? Let's hopefully this marriage lasts. But in 20 years time when you're looking at it and we've all put on weight, we've lost hair and it's all gone to shit. You look at that picture and say, ah, my Rolex Submariner. What a cool watch. No one's going to say, oh, why did you pick the Rolex? You can't wear a Rolex with a suit. No, no one's going to say that. They're going to say, ah, look at the Rolex. Man, that guy had class. <laughs> That's what they will say. Man, that guy had class. And that's not to say the Amiga isn't a cool watch. But let's be truthful. Rolex, it's like turning up. It's like turning up at a business meeting in an E-class band. Oh, you're a businessman. No question of, oh, oh you, you, you're, just, you're just part of the club. You're just part of the club, you know. You're a businessman. You're successful. You don't need to say, oh, I'm a big dick. You just say, got a Rolex, you know. It is such a cool watch. It is so cool. I'd, I'd keep it on the bracelet. Wear it on the bracelet. Man, you can't go wrong with that. If James Bond can wear a Rolex Submariner in a tuxedo, you can wear a Rolex Submariner to a wedding. No questions asked. You've got possible swimming, so you can wear the fucking thing if you take a bath. So I, I really think myself, go for the Rolex. I mean, the best thing is when you look at these photos years down the track, you'll see the Rolex. I mean, it's just, it's just fucking cool. Rolexes are cool. They're cool. And, uh, you know, I mean, sure there's better, you know, there's more expensive brands out there. Of course there is. But Rolex is class it's classy it says class and you wear a rolex to a wedding here's a true statistic you increase you increase your chance of you increase your chance of finding a sexual partner by 37.5 percent that's right 37.5 percent increase of finding a sexual partner at this wedding so, uh, wear the Rolex and let the games begin, fuckers! Let the games be w begin. And, uh, congratulations on tying the knot there. Please tell me you signed a prenup. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you fuckers think of that! Unless she's got the money. Then try, try not to sign the prenup. Just, just, just tell her you, you love her. We specialize in the repair of Rolex and Patek Philippe watches. We've been doing the same thing for more than 25 years. We have a Rolex technician certified by Rolex who actually used to work for the company for many years, like if we're doing the work on the factory. We completely disassemble the watch and we put it to work, like brand new condition. When you get a pre-owned watch, it's like if you're getting a brand new unit. The only difference is the money.